All right, so that concludes our speaking portion, but we'd, um, if anybody has any questions, we'd be happy to field them. Hi, Mary Ceres, Patch, Rhode Island. Would this legislation um, affect the med recycler, uh, the proposed med recycler project? Yes, the uh, med recycler has not been granted its, um, its solid waste license by DEM yet. So if this bill is passed and signed into law in the near future, it could, um, it could prevent this facility from opening. So this, this legislation is not targeted to one business. It is targeted to all future um, facilities of this kind that could open their doors in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. um, are there other businesses that are Sure, so there are other companies that are doing pyrolysis. Um, the med recycler one in particular is the only one of its kind um, that, that would could become operational in, in the United States um, uh, that would be burning medical waste. What did you guys mean when you talked about all of the Yeah, do you want to take so, um, as I mentioned, industry groups, plastics and petrochemical industry groups have been pushing similar legislation to some legislation that's similar to legislation that we've seen pushed here in Rhode Island that would change uh, solid waste definition so that facilities that are using paralysis or gasification on plastics would not be considered solid waste facilities. Those laws have now been passed in more than a dozen states across the country. And after those laws are passed, you see a pattern. I mean, these laws are passed for a reason. Soon after these laws are passed, you have plastics companies, fossil fuel companies like BP, move in and build pyrolysis plants that burn plastics. Uh, we've seen this pattern play out in Illinois. We've seen the pattern play out in Georgia, both of which have passed these laws and had pyrolysis facilities open soon thereafter. So this, these, these laws that the petrochemical industry is pushing, they are not an academic exercise. They are a real threat to the health and safety of people that live in these states and are forced to live near these types of facilities. Uh, with respect to the med recycler facility? So the uh, med recyclers license application for its uh, medical waste facility license is currently pending before the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management. Uh, there was a comment period on a draft license that was issued. That comment period ended April 14th. DM now has uh, 90 days from April 14th to make a final decision. So So, so in addition to the DEM permit, they still need their, um, their final planning and zoning approvals from the town of West Warwick as well. Can you elaborate on the town, like the area that it could take on as well? Like how, like, how is this going to affect them if it comes to fruition? Sure. So the place where um, Med Recycler is trying to open up shop is really inside a, a business park. It shares a wall with another business who also objects to them opening. Is really right behind a daycare and across from New England Tech in a residential neighborhood. Um, you know, right a stone's throw away from my house and many other um, you know family homes in East Greenwich. Did they give you any? Well part, well, part of the issue with men recyclers um, process is that it's really untested technology. So what they want to do is be granted approval and then kind of see what happens. And obviously, you know, that is not acceptable in our community or anybody's community. Issue from the DEM. 
PM. They reference EPA regulations. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't speak to the the EPA. Um, you know, the DEM um, says that they have the authority, the permitting authority on this. Um, so it's something a question that would have to be direct, uh, directed to DEM. Okay. I read the permit. Mm -hmm. Subject to EPA CFR fifty five Z. Great. We will ask DEM about it. Thank you. No, good with this. Great. Okay. All right. Are there any other questions? Um, and we just know that their permit says that they will be bringing um, they will be bringing medical waste from probably around the rest of New England. That's it. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. We really appreciate it. Thank you.